came here to Berlin uh, with the film Forever and Thrilled. And um, how was the cooperation with the, the staff and, and the director? Oh, you know, as everybody knows, the director is very well known and he's very talented. And oh, I always wanted to work with him. I'm dying to work with him. So I got this opportunity. I had um, a meeting with him and he he talked about this story and immediately touched me. And even though it's not about this woman's whole story about her, but I think it's very, for me, it's a big challenge because um, I don't know anything about Beijing Opera. It's a, like a fantastic world for me. So I took it. I knew it won't be easy because you have to learn as a baby, you know, you learn how to crawl, you learn how to walk. It's same here, I have to learn all the movements. It's just so much work. And I spent like hours, hours for two months. So the singing, did you do something of the singing? Singing, that's in, impossible. It just, it's just all the professionals, all the, um, uh, yeah, the masters who adopted the singing for us. None of us can do the same part. <laughs> <laughs> so coming to the more general questions, you did a lot of wonderful and beautiful films and you were acting in different roles with a big spectrum of different characters. Um, which one of these characters would you say has the most to do with yourself as a person? Um, you know what is funny? As last night I said, probably nine years ago I was here. Uh, no, ten years ago probably. I came uh, here with uh, the road home, and we took home the silver bear. And I think that movie really is just myself. I didn't know what the acting skill. I didn't know what movie means and camera, the footage. You know, I had no idea. I just uh, a very simple student who is studying at uh, a drama school. And I got a chance, the great opportunity to work with the best director. Uh, that's it. I think that movie shows the pureness, the, the simpleness, and um, memorized the, the best age. So this was the start of your career, the way uh, the road home. Yeah. And um, for me, it's like a very fascinating way that you brought together this very pure and um, sensitive childlike personality and this very decided uh, woman, young woman who knows definitely what she wants. She wants to marry this guy and nobody else. So how was that for you acting this? Ooh. I think there's a lot of determined. Determined? Did I say right? Determination. Determination, yeah. Um, you know, that movie and that role, for me, I didn't think a lot. I just wanted to do what's right uh, for the director and what's right. I just be myself. I don't really think, okay, for the next take, what's a set of changes I should give, you know, I, I, didn't, I don't know how to think in this way. But what you see is all the natural reaction, which is, I think that's the beauty of that movie, all natural and not scripts like it. So Wikipedia tells about you that you ran away from home with 13 years. That not true? home, school. <laughs> Oh, um, there's a story because I went to this boarding school when I was 11 years old and um, it's just a tremendous pressure. You know, every day you have to start training from 6 o'clock until 10 p.m. and it's not only about this, I, I, something I couldn't take is the, the the cat's fat, what's that called? The girls, you know, all the girls get together and then she doesn't like this, I don't like this, you know, all kinds of, uh, yeah, just, uh, I can't take this anymore after a few years. And then I have nowhere to run, so I 
just try to give myself a break. But dancing um, men, means still something to you, and then you're, you're yes. appreciating it. I appreciate a lot. I don't say it really because I'm not a really good dancer, but I appreciate what I learned from the six-year training. I think it make you stronger inside and make you more independent. So later on, you have been becoming very famous with these wonderful Wuxia movies like Tiger and Dragon, like House of the Flying Daggers and others. So I think it maybe has also to do with some dancing. Of course, stuff. yes. Also, it helped me to um, to start learning martial arts and much easier because, you know, just the uh, same, same kind of uh, world, but it's a different strength, but make it a lot easier. So you performed, we see you walking through the bamboo trees, walking up the walls and flying yeah, to the sky. It, it, what, what kind of parts did you, did you play that you perform yourself of those? I think martial arts brought me something I've never thought about. I could feel in a very like a dreaming way. You know, I walking on the bamboos and flying in the sky. I said, "Wow, that feels wonderful." You know, it's it's just a normal life you've never had a chance to experience. But on the other hand, I realized how hard it was, and I. So what was the hardest thing about it? It was really hard because it, it, it requires so much of this. Um, how to say, we wear this uh, um, wire special mm -hmm. thing, you know, mm -hmm. it, they, they hang you on in the sky. The technical aspect of it. Yeah, and it, it just your body, it, you won't, you're not born for this. So it's so hard, it takes you a long time to figure out which way is the, the, the more, you know, suitable for you. And also those um, action, just I got so much injured and so... So...